company then, Mishradatu Nigam, well, the company in their quarter four conference call said that they are in talks with Pratt and Whitney for potential supply of engine components. So what's the update on the same and how is business shaping up? Well, to help us out with that, we're joined by Mr. Sanjay Kumar Jha, the chairman and MD of Midani. Hi, Mr. Jha. Good morning and thanks a lot for joining in. Well, I went through your con call, you know, and you had briefly mentioned about Pratt and Whitney and there could be potential orders coming in there. And yesterday there were, uh, you know, various reports that suggested there was some progress on that front. Could you clarify, is there progress on the Pratt and Whitney front? And could you quantify what could the revenue potential be? Uh, yeah, in fact, uh, in uh, recently uh, we have started uh, uh, giving our material for their requirements. And uh, you know, in these sectors, you, first of all, you have to really certify the material. The quality part has to be certified, and quality management system also should be certified for the company. So we are in the process of doing that and uh, many rounds we have discussion with their team and they have also seen our facility and more or less uh, we have come to the stage where they are satisfied with our facility. So uh, and, and based on some initial uh, material which we have supplied to them of the right quality, right uh, requirements, I think they are, uh, we are in a right path to get some uh, uh, breakthrough. And uh, as and when it will come to that final one, I will uh, definitely inform. But it's uh, not only that Pratt and Whitney, that since Midhani is having a lot of uh, 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 the that opportunities uh, coming in the, uh, especially in the supplying the potential material for uh, aero engine or I say that in the aerospace industry, which includes our domestic requirements and coming from the developmental activities of DRDOs and also many things in our uh, uh, HAL. So right. based on that uh, uh, foundation, we are able to uh, meet their expectations. Okay. And since their requirement, their volumes are quite big. So it will be possible to get the very good business in the future. So that okay. we are All at this stage. So you have already started supplying some material, but when does commercial sales start? from Midani to Pratt and Whitney, could you, do you see it, uh, you know, pick up steam in the second half of the year? And for FY25, what could the revenue potential be from Pratt and Whitney? Or if this year is still going to be ironing out everything, for FY26, what could the revenue potential be? Revenue potential for uh, uh, FY25, uh, I'm not seeing much. Uh, in fact, it will be mostly in the area of certification and qualification of our facility. But uh, I say in the last quarter of uh, FY25, we may see some in the in the range of uh, uh, 10 to 15 crores worth of uh, supplies. But definitely uh, it will start, con it will convert into the higher volume uh, right from the next financial year, that is from FY26. Pratt and Whitney could... Pratt and Whitney could contribute close to around at least 60, 70 crores in FI 26? Yeah, definitely. If that is but, that part is getting uh, converted, uh, we have to only see that how much uh, we can uh, absorb, we can supply because we have to also see the, our uh, Indonesian program for our uh, domestic uh, requirements. So based on that, we have to decide. But the uh, moment we are uh, through in that uh, all qualification and all, this much uh, potential is there in the business. Okay, uh, that that would be a that would be a good deal, sir. And uh, on a on a lighter note, maybe Midhani will add the magic touch, right? Once you start supply to uh, supplying to Pratt and Whitney, maybe their engine issues get sorted out, and maybe we get better delivery of the of all their planes. Uh, it's a very prestigious logo, definitely for you. Uh, all right, uh, sir. Just to talk about uh, the other deal as well, uh, we heard yesterday that uh, there is a RFP. Uh, you know, for 156 light combat helicopters from HAL. How big is HAL a partner for you? Uh, and, you know, when a when an RFP of this size comes along, uh, typically what does that mean for you in terms of uh, revenue opportunity? And what is the contribution of defense in your total revenue pie as of now? Uh, uh, first of all, I'll uh, talk about this uh, LCA. Uh, for LCA, already we are supplying the material regularly for the requirements uh, as far as the titanium alloys are concerned, super alloys requirements, 
and a special stage. So already we are supplying. In fact, for Mark One and now the Mark Two development also is going on. So there also our material is going for the developments and all. So we are very well in that uh, portfolio. Uh, that. And then the volume of the business, what I say that uh, depending on the number of aircrafts and all, it will be coming in the future. I am uh, right now. I am not having the correct picture, but. You can say that whatever the material they need for uh, titanium and super alloys and special steel, Midhani will uh, material is already certified and we are going to supply those things. In so addition, we know that, that you the defense. Uh, no, no, sir. Uh, yeah, defense. It, just to get some numbers out of your total revenue, how much is defense? And what I was trying to understand, since you already have a relationship, you're already supplying these parts. When such a large order for let's say 156 LCAs comes. It's spread over a number of years, but typically, you know, is there a pop uh, in terms of the uh, the revenue opportunity for you? Because they'll they'll require that much more, obviously, material and minerals and metals that you will supply. Uh, today, my defence uh, uh, order book is almost 80 percent, uh, 75 to 80 percent we are having, and in that uh, uh, only specific to LCA, very difficult to differentiate. But uh, you know that all these uh, platforms, whatever they are asking, it will be uh, spread over the next four to five years, sometimes the six years. So that the material supply will not be at, at uh, one time. It will have uh, also in a, sta a staggered manner. So I am finding that definitely it will be around uh, 60 to 70 crores uh, in that range uh, per annum coming from that sector, uh, definitely. Yeah. Okay, all right. 60 to 70 crores of business coming from HAL with regard to this particular LCH, that's light combat uh, uh, helicopters, right, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get a couple of quick numbers before we let you go. What is the updated order book? The last recorded number we have is around 1,500 crores. And 80% uh, of the order book as well as defense, the remaining will be space? Yeah, remaining uh, space, we have around uh, 10 to 15% space. Uh, space has come down drastically because now space... The new things are now coming up, so it will okay. be adding further. Uh, in addition okay. to that, now we have the something coming from the energy sector, something we are getting from the export market. Export okay. has, is, has picking up. The last year we had almost 6% of our turnover from the export. This year we are planning to almost uh, do the, uh, almost increase our uh, export to coming from the two times. Last year we have 70 crores, this time we are planning for 150 crores in the export market. Got it. And All right. Which, which includes uh, that whatever we have discussed about that earlier uh, company also. And the so order book is 1500 crores, sir? It has crossed 1700 now, uh, 17. as on today. today but, Got it. Uh, but we have uh, other indications also. Leave us with just two numbers, sir. For FY25, we've got a sense about business. Pratt & Whitney starts contributing in a small way, and the next year looks even more promising. But for FY25, what kind of a revenue growth can you deliver? And the margins have been fairly volatile. What is the range we should work with? Just two numbers, revenue growth and margins. Uh, revenue growth, uh, last year, the way we have done crossed almost 23%, uh, we have the revenue growth. We will maintain the same momentum this year also. And uh, regarding the margin, it, uh, last year it was not affected mainly because of the fluctuation in the raw material price, which has gone up uh, very, uh, it was a lot of uh, um, like uh, um, uh, initial three quarters, we have a lot of uh, outflow because of the higher raw material input cost. So now I am seeing that this year probably that will not be the region. So the margin will definitely will try to improve there over the period of time. Give so, us a number, sir. Margins will be what, 20%, 25%? Uh, last year, we had around 20% operating profit margin. Maybe it will be coming to around uh, 25 in that range. Got it. Okay, all right. Uh, we will leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in. By the way, the